As South Africa continues to celebrate Women's Month, we spoke to a female researcher doing groundbreaking research in additive manufacturing at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in Pretoria. The CSIR, in collaboration with South African aerospace company Aerosuit Innovation Center under Project Aeroswift, is now home to the biggest 3D printer in the world. The project was funded by the then Department of Science and Technology and aims to place South Africa amongst the best additive manufacturers in the world. It's been quite a journey. Um, where we are at the moment is in this phase of process qualification. So we are aiming to uh, make sure that we meet the specifications of um, your Airbuses, your Boeing, your big players in the aerospace industry so that um, our goal and our aim can be reached to manufacture structural components for aeroplanes. Londiwe Mutibani, an engineer and candidate researcher at the CSIR, is one of the women who have been working on the Aeroswift project. In world standings, um, this machine is quite up there with the big ones. And our advantage is again um, this large processing bed that allows us to, breathe, to print really big parts. At the moment, the commercially available uh, systems are restricted by the size of the amount or the size of the components that they can build because they are about maybe even a third of uh, what we have in this machine. And this gives South Africa a competitive advantage. Advances in technology resulting in automation within different spheres of work. The biggest buzz term, the fourth industrial revolution, has caused fear of job losses and higher unemployment in South Africa. But also, I, I, there's always that um, being scared of, will people lose jobs? I'd say it's more a reskilling in all spheres, whether it's robotics, whether it's uh, 3D printing, whether it's artificial intelligence. Robots can't operate themselves. Someone needs to build the robots. This machine can't operate itself. Somebody needs to feed it. Somebody needs to do the thinking behind it. So I think it's more a reskilling, firstly, for those that are already in the working space. Um, and then also really good opportunities for those that may not be employed yet. 